How's it going? Charles Botenston here from Botenston Properties International. Right now, or right here, not right now, but right here is what I'm holding. Uh, the questions, the Q&A questions, the first Q&A questions. You can ask me anything. I'm gonna be as honest and raw as possible. Really, these are questions that I've heard over the years that I know are on probably people's minds that are not in the industry, which is obviously not people in real estate. Whether that's a developer or not, I'm talking about agents or the brokerage or the selling side or the commercial side. First question comes out, it's gonna be the thoughts my thoughts of Street Easy. So it first came out, I was at Platinum Properties downtown in 2009, 2010, and that's really when it started coming out and gaining a little bit of steam, and all the inventory moved from Craigslist, which everyone used to find it, Zillow and Trulia, back in 2009, 2010. Then I went over to Halstead, and that's really, really, really when it became popular. And people started bugging out. People started in the industry, started going crazy. They're like, this is gonna wipe us out, and it's gonna just compute, just computers, can hold your hand going through a transaction and I'm sitting there, I'm the most pro technology, I was gonna say technological advances, but pro technology out of anyone. It's made our industry so much easier, so much more transparent. And for me, I never thought that way. I never thought a website is gonna wipe anyone. Yeah, it actually did if you're a broker in the financial services or you're a travel agent, you know, you can just easily book something online go wherever you want, you can easily buy stock. And that's what people were thinking. They're like, oh, you're gonna bring the buyer and the seller together. I never thought that way, because I was always about the relational. However, I saw it as a great thing because you can just literally push the people out of the industry that are not that good at what they do. It's so easy to get your license. For me, I actually just saw this interesting quote by Michael, I think it was Michael Dell. He said that relate in the year 2020, relationship relationships will supersede price. Right now people are price gouging. They're trying to get the best price they can, whether that's going to Amazon or going to multiple websites or Google Shopping or Walmart or whatever. But they said by 2020, Everything's gonna be so cheap to buy and sell and trade that people are gonna go for the relationship. That's why you're seeing it nowadays is that the big corporations are really losing a lot of their inventory to smaller mom and pops. And that's really where I see it as well is that people are not gonna be price gouging Using Street Easy, in other words, they're gonna be using a broker and just say, listen, you handle it, I wanna save the time. And that's why Uber, Uber buys back your time. That's why it's so successful. And I really see that as the trend as well, is that Street Easy is always gonna be the greatest place. I love it because you can go on, imagine back in the day, you'd have to go through the New York Times and highlight with no photos, just a description on what homes you might see. Now you can go through 100 homes in, a, in an hour and literally narrow it down to the five you wanna see and, and get a, an entire picture of the market. Amazing, I love it. So the next question is real estate tech in the future. This is big. So outside of just the normal websites and everything else, technology is getting really, really quick and fast. And the biggest area that we're seeing it is new developments. Obviously people up until about 2013, they were buying homes off floor plans. They weren't even looking at photos. Yeah, they had like renderings, but they were literally buying it and they're like, this building or this empty lot, your home would be on the 13th floor and it's gonna be facing south. Now we have drones that literally, they go up the first floor and they just take a, a shot of everything that you'd be looking at. Then it goes up to the second floor and it does the same thing and they have it all going all the way up. So not only are you gonna have that, but you're gonna have Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift, if you're not familiar, was just bought out by Facebook for $2 billion by a 20-something year old, I think like a 22 year old, 21 year old gentleman, and it's virtual reality. Literally walk around and you're walking through your apartment. So not only, not only, like back in the day, they would be like, this is what the building is, look, is gonna look like. Five years ago, they're like, this is what your apartment's gonna look like. Two years ago, it was like, this is the view. Now you're gonna be able to w physically walk through your apartment, open the drawers, turn on the sink, look out the window and everything else, and they're actually gonna have, you know, what the city noise is gonna be like, there's there's gonna be headphones on there. It's an absolutely incredible thing. If you wanna one-up that, they're actually gonna be having holograms. So you're physically, in person, gonna be able to see in front of you what you're gonna be able to buy, and ironically enough, you don't even need to be in New York City can be in Hong Kong buying a New York City apartment based on a hologram, based on Oculus Rift. You're literally walking around. So soon you're gonna be able to be at work 
and put on Oculus Rift, or they're gonna have a device where it has the 3D kind of hologram of what your home is gonna look like, and you're literally just gonna walk through it. So people are gonna, not only back in the day where you're buying it off a floor plan, but right now you're gonna be able to, or not right now, but in the future, you're gonna be able to buy it off of a hologram, which is absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for that day, because once that happens, you don't have to be, go into the home. You don't have to, like, yeah, if it's built, you wanna stop by and check it out, yes, but the future is gonna completely blow open virtual reality of the home and the experience you're gonna get, the amenities, the rooftop, what's the gym gonna look like, what's what's the lobby? You're just gonna walk through the lobby, you're gonna walk into the gym, you're gonna be on the treadmill, you're gonna actually experience it, you're gonna have an emotional connection instead of just looking at photos like it was right now, back in the day. And just to go off the of holograms, they do actually have speakers, well-known speakers that are using holograms. This is really interesting, is that they're in their home, wherever they are, as a speaker, and they're transmitting this to a stage in, say, Australia, because the speaker didn't want to travel to Australia, or they beamed it to Australia, England, and Hong Kong, so they're doing multiple places. If you have any other questions, shoot me an email. Obviously, I hope you do, because that's gonna continue into next month. Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube video. Go to Facebook, like us there, and obviously follow us on Instagram. Those are our three favorite social media networks. If we could be of any service, obviously let us know. Have an awesome day. And as always, we are never too busy for any of your referrals. Touch you soon.